we mentioned brain drain. Give us numbers. How, how, how much? How much are we talking here? How many people? Yeah, I mean, it's it's hard to have the full calculation there, but we know that, you know, some of these salaries have been slashed by half. So, you know, people are looking elsewhere when, when that starts to happen to your salary. Um, and of course, that's not the only thing. There's this ongoing corruption probe that's taken down already, you know, 100 finance officials um, and executives just last year. So I think that's really sending a chilling effect through the industry. Um, on top of that, they've been told they're hedonistic and, you know, need to follow the centralized leadership of the party. A lot of people are interpreting that as basically, you know, spitting out the money they've earned. There was this anecdote, someone was saying, you know, before we were meeting, we were moving these fatty pieces of meat around, you know, what's left on your hand is yours. That's the incentive of the industry. Now you're asked to wash your hands. Um, you know, so the prospects of this being a very lucrative industry are gone. And so it's not only affecting people leaving now, but of course also graduates choosing what they want to do with their future careers. Um, so it's, yeah, so so we've gathered a lot of anecdotes from bankers, you know, from entry level to department heads. And, you know, people are really down on the prospects of this industry, not just for the short term, but also uh, longer term. So, so where are they going? I mean, I mean, mm. where are they finding Jobs. I mean, obviously, global banks have been cutting a lot of China-focused jobs as well. Are there better prospects out there? Yeah, I mean, that's the thing. Um, you know, some people told us they're looking to places like Hong Kong. Um, some people are going into other industries like, you know, digital industries. I know one person that's basically gone from being an investment banker to working in crypto. Um, so it's, uh, you know, they're they're going where they can find jobs. But of course, in this job market and with the sputtering economy, there's not a lot of other great options. And of course, uh, you know, there are some people saying, you know, lean camel still bigger than a horse. Like this is still an industry <laughs> that ob objectively pays more, even with, you know, half of your salary gone. Uh, uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's all relative, isn't it? Um, interesting stat here from the story. Uh, yeah, you probably know this, but I'll read it to our viewers here. So Morgan McKinley, of course, which is uh, effectively uh, helps uh, job uh, consultancy firm here. 80% of firms in China's banking and financial services sector have lost talent in the past six months. Overall figure is a 78%. That, that, that's quite a, a sort of across the board reduction in, in the labor footprint of this industry. Lucille, is there anything the government can and should do, maybe two separate questions, that might stem the exodus of talent from the sector, which is frankly quite needed given where this economy wants to be in a few, a few years' time? Yeah, that's that's completely right. Definitely two separate questions. A lot that they can do, um, but uh, we haven't seen any indication they want to. Um, a lot of experts are saying, you know, they kind of see the sector on the extreme end, you know, something like pre-1978, where it's, um, you know, just state-run banks, state-run insurers. Um, they kind of see it heading in that direction. Um, there's others saying, you know, uh, the financial sector has had a lot of blame for the buildup of debt in the industry and, you know, the leadership might not want them anywhere near the lovers of power again. So I think it's a matter of where people think this is going. And um, uh, I think, you know, uh, people are basically arguing that they don't want this many people in this sector. They want it to uh, the sector to serve the people rather than, um, you know, fund these what they see as lavish lifestyles. Um, so in the end, you know, uh, I think people aren't seeing any indication we want the sector to grow and prosper. Um, rather, we want the sector to be lending to the sectors that the, gov the government deems important, such as manufacturing. And we want the sector to, you know, be very self-regulated um, so that we don't have, you know, uh, the corruption probes that uh, we have now.